working conditions and Chinese gene factories from year 1800s to 1900s. In China, the owners of factories treat their workers with no respect. They threaten them because they want them to get the job done. They know they're weak, although they can protest. One common statement managers use or do it or you're fired. This makes the worker do the job because they don't want to lose their job, no matter how awful it is. They need to make money for their family. An average civilian living in China needs $600 to live comfortably. A worker makes between $400 per year, about $6 per day. They face sharp pay cuts. They would have to work 10 hours a day, sometimes more than others, for six days a week. In order to save money, people would hire women and children more because they would work for lower wages than men. Abuse and conditions. In southern mills, children worked overnight. To keep them from falling asleep, the owners would throw cold water on their faces. Since there are long working hours, even in normal hours, children tend to make more mistakes. The owners were very strict, as you could predict. Many children got injured or killed on the job. Punishment. Shoe factory workers are threatened with being fired to work over time and are locked up if they refuse. Here in the Pearl River Delta re region near Hong Kong, factory workers lose or break about 40,000 fingers on the job every year. Condition. Factories were rarely lit up or clean. Most machines were dangerous and often injured workers. No government system to provide an, any first aid kit or medical health resource in case of an emergency. In late 2001, China transformed into a place for foreign investors seeking low wage and low import barriers. Nowadays, people get paid less than minimum wage. Minimum wage is 31 cents, which means they get paid about 15. such as lower wages and being fired. Political dissents can be grounds for imprisonment. Chinese workers cannot easily form a labor movement to fight for better working conditions. Many places in the United States are very big exporters of, the, of China. Walmart is one of them. Walmart has allowed a unionization within Chinese stores after workers sparkled a grassroots labor organization. This cannot be done, however, without China, the Chinese government being in control of all federations of trade unions. Fatal diseases are known to be in these factories. Sandblasting is the cause of one of these things. Sandblasting is an operation where they make the jeans look a little worn out, as in fashion today. Although this is in fashion, one-minute exposures can cause silicosis. This is still legal in China, and they have mobile sandblasting companies that pay about four of their money. As you know, dyes are made to color the jeans, but these dyes are also causing allergies known to the people that work in the factories. Managers refuse to talk about how they treat their workers because they don't know they know that they're doing something wrong and they don't want to admit it. As a conclusion, we have come up that China is, does not treat their workers right and they need to get their economy up.